Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, I made a mistake. I goofed. In my 3.11 video, I talked about never and assert never, and uh, I had the wrong idea about them. Uh, I'm gonna <laughs> you know, make an excuse that uh, the type checker didn't support it yet, and I didn't really look too closely about the functionality, and I kind of assumed how it worked. And you know what happens when you assume. But anyway, Henry helpfully pointed out that uh, I made a mistake there, as well as added a little bit of background on a certain ever. Uh, and I figured I'd walk you through the functionality and show you how it works. Uh, so to get started, of course, this is new in Python 3.11. We're going to set up a 3.11 virtual env, and we are going to install a sufficiently new version of MyPy. Uh, I believe 960 is needed to use this functionality. Uh, <laughs> not even installing the uh, pre-built. We're getting the uncompiled version. Oh, it's because it's 3.11. It's brand new. Um, but the pep introduced uh, two, two things, well, three things, the pep. Uh, Python 3.11 introduced three things. And one of those is typing.never, uh, which is an alias for no return. The reason that it's separate is it looked a little bit awkward to do something like uh, no return as an argument type. Um, but <laughs> never made a little bit more sense. And actually, uh, some of the other type checkers had been using never as their internal name for no return, as well as their internal name for an empty union. I don't think this syntax works. It did, I think at some point. Yeah. Um, but basically, no return and never are kind of an alias for an empty union, uh, which some type checkers used to accept. I don't think they did do anymore. I actually made an issue about this at some point because someone pointed out, oh, this might be possible, but no, it's not. Um, okay, so that's never and no return. They're basically the same thing. Uh, they are helpful in defining functions that are either illegal to call or will never produce a return value. In this case, this is a function that's illegal to call uh, because you can't, you know, there's no way to satisfy this type annotation here. Uh, assume this is never, never, no return, same thing. Uh, there's no type that fits in that. Um, never and no return are what are called bottom types. We're getting into type theory now. So there, <laughs> there is a top type, which all types are subclasses of. Uh, the Python typing system actually has two top types. There's object and any. Um, any being kind of what I call a squishy top type and that you can call any attribute on any. Object being kind of an opaque top type where everything has a subclass of it but you can't call any attributes on object before narrowing it to something else. And uh, yeah, so that's that's why the spelling changed and why it makes a little bit more sense there. Okay, let's get to assert never next. Now assert never is kind of the opposite of what I had said in the video. Uh, I said in the video that it was a, a assertion helper to make the type checker understand stuff. It's actually more the other direction in that you can sprinkle this in your code and the type checker will produce an error if it's incorrect. So if we make, for instance, a function that takes integer and returns none, and we do from typing import assert never, uh, if we put assert never here, what we're telling the type checker is that we don't expect this line to ever be reachable, uh, <laughs> which you know I would maybe either do assert false unreachable or raise assertion error, assertion error unreachable, and you'll actually see you know, this this pattern sprinkled very much throughout my code. I tend to avoid this one just because people will grumble about using the assert statement, but teach their own. Um, I might, before this existed, write something like this, which would uh, communicate the same thing. And if we actually call this, you'll see at runtime, so we have to be activated. Uh, if we call this, you'll see that assert never is actually going to raise uh, an exception here. And, Expected code to be unreachable, but got value. And so it, it helpfully tells you what, what happened here. Uh, this should probably be bang R, but um, So that's that's the use of assert never. This is kind of an invalid use. And fortunately, our type checker is going to point out that uh, we, you know, this function exists and we shouldn't have been able to call it. Well, the error message could do with a little bit of improvement, but <laughs> it, at least, it at least fails. That's the most important part. Um, but you could use this, for instance, I don't know, let's say this is int or stir. If is instance x int, then print dot int. Uh, and maybe you, you know, made a mistake here and didn't handle the string case. 
Now, if you run this, MyPy will hopefully tell you, oh yeah, you've got, you forgot to handle the case here. Uh, you got stir in here and expected no return. And so then if you were to add that as instance case here, print got stir x. Uh, now this is valid code. So this is unreachable and the type checker helps you enforce that it's unreachable. Okay, so that's assert never. Uh, we had a similar, a similar mistake with assert type. Uh, it actually does kind of work the way I explained in the video, but I don't think I explained it very clearly. So I'm going to re-explain it here. Uh, assert type, it, assert type, <laughs> assert type is very similar to assert never in that it is something that you sprinkle in your code and the type checker will enforce it for you. Uh, so for instance, let's say that we, you know, did some complicated, uh, pre-checking here to narrow the type and said, you know, okay, we've got an int, we're gonna early return here, maybe we have some other logic down here. And we want to assert that we are absolutely sure that we have the right type at the bottom. You know, with int and stir, it's probably you know, not, uh, not that uh, helpful to use this, but it might be useful in a more complicated situation. So you might say assert type x being int, or, or sorry, stir, because uh, we expect this to be a string at this point. And if we run mypy, you'll see that it passes this assertion. If we had done this incorrectly, it will fail this assertion. So it'll say that you know, the expression was a string and expected it to be an integer. Uh, I believe it also fails at runtime. Oh, we need to pass a string. I believe it also fails at runtime. No. Okay, so this one is not enforced at runtime. Why is this one not enforced at runtime? What? <laughs> Maybe that's a mistake? I don't know. I guess it's not enforced at runtime. Uh, I guess maybe because you would want to have generics and other stuff in here, and then you couldn't enforce the runtime. Okay, this seems fair. Anyway, so this is a way to tell the type checker, hey, double check this for me. Make sure that I did my narrowing logic correctly. Uh, and it's really just a tool for the programmer. Um, but anyway, hopefully that clears up the, the, the things that I made a mistake on. So never being a new bottom type, uh, alias for no return. Uh, Assert never being a make sure it's unreachable situation, and assert type being a you know, make sure I did narrowing correctly. Oh, the other thing, the other neat thing about assert never is you can actually implement your own, uh, like so. Raise assertion error. Uh, so this is if you wanted to backport assert never, I don't know why you would, but you could. <laughs> implement your own assert never using using the same thing here. Anyway, hopefully you found this useful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.